for this project any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a half a skein of Red Heart Super Saver in dusty grey. As for tools, a 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using 5 stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet Half double crochet Double crochet And treble crochet this tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain that we want the height of our waistband to be. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 11, or that comes out to 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of 1, and then into that loop that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a slip stitch. Let's do the next one together. We're going to insert our hook into that next loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down our chain. Now that we've made our way all the way down with our first row of slip stitches, we're going to do more rows of slip stitches, but they will be in through the back loop. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a chain up of one, and flip our work. Next, we're going to insert our hook into this next back loop that we have. We're going to insert and then we're going to yarn over, pull through everything like a regular slip stitch. Let's do the next one together. Into that next back loop that we have, yarn over, pull through everything. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down, making sure we're going into the back loops only. Once we make our way over to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then bring it on back down with more back loop slip stitches. And we're going to keep doing this until we come out with a total length that we need that can fit around the widest part of our bust and when we're making these rows make sure that we are stretching it when we put it up to ourselves because it stretches quite a bit as well and in the next clip i will let you guys know just how many rows i have and the measurement as well so i am back and i have just finished up going in with my bottom band and this is what mine looks like just to let you guys know i have a total of 16 and a half inches or that comes out to 41 centimeters while it is unstretched and also that is a total of 103 rows. Once when we have this, we are going to combine the two ends that we have together, forming a circle, then we're gonna start working in with the top. So we're just going to sandwich the two edges in any way that is easiest for us. And my working yarn is already into this corner, so I'm going to insert my hook with my working yarn attached into the back panel's corner. From here, we are going to yarn our working yarn over our hook and pull through everything. And then from here, we're going to single crochet, making sure we're going in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time. So into the first available loop that we have into the front panel, go ahead and insert your hook. And then into the next available loop that we have into the back panel, insert your hook, and then single crochet. Let's do one more together. Into the next loop that we have into the front panel, and then into the next loop that we have into the back panel, and then single crochet. Go ahead and put one single crochet into both loops going all the way down. Once when we have seamed up our work, what we're going to do from here is do a row of single crochet around the entirety of our top. So what we're gonna do is flip our work inside out so that our seam is along the inside. And then we're just gonna go in with a single crochet into each of these side slip stitch rows. So let's do the first few together. So getting started on the single crochet row, we are going to do a chain up of one. And making sure that we're counting as we go, we are going to insert our hook into this first side slip stitch row that just so happens to be this divot. So we're going to find whatever loop is directly on top of that. It may not be pretty or easy to find, but there's one there, I promise. We're going to single crochet. Into this next side slip stitch row is the one that sticks out right here. We're going to single crochet into that top loop. Let's do one more set together. The next side slip stitch row is the divot that we have right here insert with a single crochet the next one is the one that sticks out find the top loop and single crochet keep doing this going all the way down making sure that we're counting as we go and then once when we make our way all the way around we're going to slip stitch into that chain one space and then i'll meet you guys back Alrighty, so we have just worked our way all the way around with our single crochet row and next we're going to need to insert our stitch markers the first stitch marker we're going to need to insert 
is going to be half of the number that we counted when we were going in with our single crochets. So if you guys have the same numbers as me, I inserted my stitch marker into the halfway point, which is my 50 second loop. If you guys have an even number, then you guys will have two middle loops. Just make sure that they're even along both sides. And now that we know where our middle stitch is, we are going to want to try this on and then figure out where we want our cabling details. Now this portion is going to be completely up to you. Just make sure that they're even along both sides of our middle stitch and make sure that you guys block off four stitches for the edge and for the inside of the cable and then the middle will have nothing. So from where my middle stitch marker is, in both directions I counted out nine loops or that came out to a total of two inches or five centimeters Then inserted my stitch markers into there. That's going to be the inside of my cable. And then from there, just added an extra four on the outside, which just so happens to be the 13th loop. And I inserted my stitch markers into there as well. Once we get here, we can do a chain up of one and cut since I still have my working yarn in the back. And then I'm going to insert my hook into this side stitch marker right here. And then we can get started on the cable detail. So we have just cut our work and now we are ready to go in with our first row of our front body detail. The first thing I want to say is just make sure that the seam that we have is faced along the inside because the ribbing and the cabling that we have isn't reversible. We just want to make sure that everything that's supposed to be on the outside is on the outside. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our hook into this outside loop that the stitch marker is in. We're going to take this guy out, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and start off by doing a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. Once we have that chain up of three, we're just going to go in with double crochets going all the way across until we hit this next outside stitch marker right over here. But when it comes to all these stitch markers in between, we're going to want to make sure that we insert them back into those top loops. So let's just do this first one together. We're going to do double crochets up until we hit this stitch marker. So prepare, insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. So we have just finished up going in with these double crochets and now we're at this next loop that has our stitch marker into it. We're going to take this guy out for now. Prepare, do a double crochet into that loop that we just took the stitch marker out of. And from here we're going to place it back into that loop. And we're just going to keep doing that going all the way down until we hit this outside stitch marker. Alright, so we have just finished going in with the first row when it comes to doing our cable section. And what we're going to do from here is start to do the prep row for our cabling and for our ribbing that we're going to have in between. So how we're going to do this is in between the edges that we have right here and our stitch markers, we're going to do double crochet, half double, and two singles. And then in between these two stitch markers, we're going to go in with back loop slip stitches. So let's get this first bit started together. We're going to do a chain up of three and flip our work. That chain up of three counts as your double crochet. So we're going to start off with a half double into that next loop. So prepare, go into that next loop with a half double and then two singles into the next two. And then from here, we're going to go in with our back loop slip stitches. So just like how the band was, we're going to insert yarn over and pull through everything. And we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we hit our side stitch marker where our cabling is going to be or if you guys didn't insert your stitch marker back in until we have just four loops left. So we've done our back loop slip stitches going all the way down until we hit this stitch marker. What we're going to do from here is take this guy out and then do the same thing that we did at the beginning of this row, but going in reverse. So we're going to go in with two singles, one half double, one double. So here is one, two single into that second to last. Go ahead and do a half double and then into that last do a double. Once we have that, we can insert our stitch marker back into that loop that we have our first single crochet into. And then from here, we can get started with the cable. So getting started on this cable stitch section, what we're going to do is start off by just doing a chain up of one. And from here, we're going to do a bunch of front post treble crochets. So going in with our first front post treble, we are going to be skipping this first chain up of three that we did into the first row. And then we are also going to be skipping this actual double crochet that we have right next to it because that is going to be saved for our twist. So into the third post that we have, we're skipping one, two, inserting into that third with a front post treble. So we're going to insert our hook underneath that post and bring it through the other side. And from here, we're going to treble crochet just like normal. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. 
Now once when we have that, we're going to go in with one more front post treble into the post that's right after the one that we just went into. So yarn over twice, into that next post, bring it underneath and through the other side. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And from here we are going to be doing our twist like I said, so we're going to prepare for another front post treble and then we're going to bring our hook back to this first post that we skipped, not this chain up of three. So we're going to bring our hook back into that post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And this is our first twist all finished up. And what we're going to do from here is go across with half double crochets, but first we're going to have to count the amount of loops that we have in the previous row because we want to make sure that we're not going into the first three loops right here, otherwise we'll be doing an increase because these front post treble crochets that we just did counts as these three loops that we just skipped. So we're going to count one, two, three, insert your hook into that back loop with a half double crochet. And then once we have that, the next two loops that we're gonna go into is gonna be a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So prepare, insert into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, back loop after that, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all four loops. And then from here, go ahead and put one back loop half double going all the way down, leaving three loops right before we hit our stitch marker over here because we're going to be doing another decrease of two half doubles and then one half double in between before we start going in with our cabling again. So we're now at the other half of our third row and what we're going to do is go in with our decrease of two half double, do one back loop half double, and then do our cabling stitches right after that. So we stopped three loops right before our stitch marker. So we're going to prepare, insert, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, that is our decrease, and then we're gonna do one back loop, half double into that next loop, and then from here we can take out the stitch marker and do our cables again. So we're going to prepare for a front post treble, and then we're just going to trace this last half double that we just did, going all the way down to the double crochet row, and this is going to act as our chain up of three that we had on this side. So since this loop is already occupied, we're going to be skipping this next post, and then we're going to be inserting our front post treble into the post right after that one. So we're going to yarn over twice, go into that post that we just figured out, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then we're gonna be doing one more front post treble right after that, so yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then once we have that, we have this one post that we didn't go into that we need to take care of. So we're going to yarn over twice, go back into that post, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Once we have that, we are going to do a single crochet into the last loop that we have into the previous row, just to close this off. So insert and single crochet. And we should have something that looks a little bit like this. Once we have this, we're going to repeat the last row that we did. So we're going to all together, start off by doing a chain up of three, flip our work. And then we're gonna go in with half double, two singles, and then back loop slip stitches until we do the two singles, half double, double on this end. So let's just get this started. We're going to prepare for a half double, go into that next loop with a half double. And then here's one, two single. And then go ahead and go across with back loop slip stitches, leaving the last four loops. And then we'll do our two single half double doubles again together. All right, so we are back and we have one, two, three, four loops left. So into the first two, we're gonna go in with one single and then two single. Into that second to last, go ahead and go in with a half double into that last, our double. Once we have that, do a chain up of one, flip, and then we're going to do our cabling sections together just one more time. So once when we've done our chain up of one, we're going to prepare for our front post treble, and now we're going to be working our cables into the cables that we did in the previous row. So just like before, we're gonna be skipping our first post that we have right here, and then doing a front post treble into the post right after that. So go ahead and insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then we're gonna be doing one more front post into the post right after that. It is 
the one that is twisted in the previous row, so yarn over, go behind that post, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now once we have these two, just like before, we're going to be working our way back to this post that we skipped. So yarn over twice, into that post, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. This is our second twist. Once we have that, we're going to be doing our back loop half double crochet. So go ahead and prepare and then count out one, two, three loops and then insert your hook into that fourth back loop with a half double. And this is our cable sequence. And then next we're going to go in with a decrease of two half doubles just to make sure that it is working up at an angle. So insert into that back loop, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through four, and then put one back loop half double crochet going all the way down until we get just three loops right before we have to do our next cable. So we are at our next cable section and we're going to do our decrease of two back loop half doubles half doubles and then into those last four stitches we're going to be going in with our cable sequence. So from here we're going to prepare, go into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, back loop after that, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four, that is our decrease, and then in between our decreases and our cables we're always going to have just one back loop half double. Once we have that we should have one, two, three, four loops left and then we're going to go in with our cable. So go ahead and yarn over twice, skip that first post that we have right here, insert your hook into the second one, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then we're going to do one more front post treble into the post right after that, so yarn over twice, behind that post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. And then just like before, we're going to work our way on back to this first post that we skipped, so yarn over twice, over to this post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two, and then lastly, we're going to skip one, two, three loops in the previous row, single crochet into that last. And that is going to be the sequence for our cable section. So once when we get here, we're going to do a chain up of three, do a half double, two single, and then back loop slips all the way across until we're going to do our two singles, half double, double crochet at the end. And then once we have that, do a chain up of one, flip your work, do our cabling, which is the same exact way that we've done it before. So skip one post, one front post treble, two front post treble, and then go back to that first post that we skipped, and then put one back loop half double into the fourth loop in the previous row. Once we have that, do our decrease of two back loop half doubles, and do back loop half doubles going all the way down, and then do everything that we just did here over on this side, and we're just going to keep going back and forth like that until this portion gets high enough to where we want the bottom of our collar to be. So I will meet you guys back once we have all this finished up. We've just finished up going in with our middle detail and I ended up having a total of 15 rows or this came out to 4 inches or 10 centimeters. And right before we get started on anything else we're going to go down with a row of single crochet along the sides that we have right here just to make the next few rows easier for us. So once when we are here we're going to do a chain up of one don't mind my extra tails, I did some experimenting. But once we get here, we're going to work our way down putting two single crochets into each side double crochet. So into this first side double crochet, I'm going to be going in with one and then two. The next side double crochet may be a little difficult to see, so we're just going to pull our work apart just a little bit. And it is right here, we're going to go in with one, two. The next one's right here, here is one, two. And then let's just do the next one together as well. We're going to have to separate that one a little bit. Here is one, two. Go ahead and keep going all the way down and then I'll show you guys how to connect it into the base. We've just made our way all the way down with our row of single crochets and we don't have any more side double crochets left to go into. So we're just going to slip stitch into the next available loop that we have into our bottom band. So this is the next loop that we have that doesn't have anything into it. We're going to yarn over pull through everything and then do a chain up of one and cut. Once when we have this we're going to do the same thing on the other side working our way down, slip stitch into that base loop and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can start working in the rounds for our body. Alrighty so we've just finished up going in with our single crochet row that went along the sides and now we're going to start working on the body portion. 
So we're all gonna have to get started on the same side together because the ribbing that we have in between, it isn't reversible. So we all need to start along the left side, just like this, making sure that our work is faced right side out. So what we're gonna do from here is count up two single crochets from this base portion that we just went in with. So here's one, here's two. We're gonna insert our hook into that second loop. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And then once we have that into the first available loop that we have right here, we're going to go in with an increase of two double crochets. So all that is, is preparing for a double crochet. Then we're gonna go into that loop that doesn't have anything into it, this one right here, with one double crochet. And then we're gonna go in with just one more into that same loop with another double crochet. Once when we have that, we're going to go all the way around with double crochet, just putting one into every loop that we have. And we're gonna meet each other back once we have just this one loop left, because we're gonna be doing another increase of two double crochets into there. So we've just made our way all the way down to the end with our row of double crochet, and we left our last loop right here. So we're gonna go in with an increase of two doubles. So into this last loop, we're gonna go in with one double, and then put one more into that same last loop, just like that. That is our increase of two along the edge. Once we have that, we're gonna count up the next two available loops into the base right here. We're gonna slip stitch into that second to close off that row. Once we have that, we're going to slip stitch up just one loop. We're gonna flip our work. And from here, we're gonna go all the way down, just putting one back loop slip stitch into every loop that we have until we hit this next loop over here in the base. So just to do the first few together, Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And keep doing this going all the way down. I'll meet you guys back at the very end of this row. So we've just made our way all the way down with our row of back loop slip stitches and we're at the base. What we're gonna do from here is insert our hook into that next available loop that we have into the base, slip stitch that closed to close off this row, and then we're gonna do another row of double crochet. So what we're gonna do is slip stitch up the next two available loops that we have into the base and flip our work. And when it comes to doing my back loop only double crochet rows, I'll be doing an increase of two into the first back loop and then do back loop double crochets going around and finishing off with another increase of two back loop double crochets. Then I'm gonna make my way back with back loop slip stitches with nothing fancy in them. If you guys do need a wider bust, I suggest adding more increases within each of the double crochet rows till you guys get the size that you need. But other than that, keep going back and forth like that, just with those two rows, until this hits your underarm, and then also be sure to end on a slip stitch row. But other than that, I'll meet you guys back once we have all that done. So we're back and we have just finished up, going in with the height of our bralette, and this height that we have finishes right underneath our underarm. And I finished up with a total of 14 rows, and this is four inches or 10 centimeters. But once when we have this, we are going to want to try on our piece and then insert our stitch markers into the loops that we have that's right in front of our underarm. And the place where I inserted my stitch markers was 12 loops away from the base, or that's a total of three inches or eight centimeters, and that's going in both directions. But once when we get here, we all should have ended on our slip stitch row. So the next row we're gonna be going in with is our double crochets. We're still gonna be maintaining our increases right next to the base, but once we work our way down to our stitch marker, we're gonna do a decrease into every row now because we're gonna want this to taper up. So from here, we're going to prepare for double and then still maintain doing that increase of two into that first back loop. And now that we have our increase of two, now we're just gonna be putting one back loop double crochet into every stitch until we get to the loop that's right before our stitch marker. So we're back and we are now at the loop that is right before our stitch marker. So what we're gonna do is take out our stitch marker and we're gonna do a decrease of two back loop double crochets. So we're going to prepare for a double, go into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, we should have three loops on our hook, and then also insert our hook into the next back loop as well. Yarn over, pull through, we should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, and pull through two. And this is what's going to help our work start to curve in. Once we have this, we do still have to do our back loop slip stitch ribbing row, but we're gonna be doing a decrease into that one as well. So go ahead and do a chain up of one and flip. And into the first two back loops that we have right here, we're gonna be doing a decrease of two back loop slip stitches 
and then just like before, put one back loop slip going all the way down. So into the first two back loops, let's do that together. We're gonna insert our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, and then into that next back loop. Once we get here, we should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're gonna yarn over and just pull through the everything that's on our hook. And that is our decrease of two back loop slip stitches. Once we get here, we're gonna go all the way down, putting one back loop slip into every loop. And then we're going to slip stitch it into the base. And I'll meet you guys back once we're ready to do our next double crochet row again. So we've just made our way all the way down with our back loop slip stitch row. And we're going to start off this double crochet row together again, just as a refresher. So I've already done my slip stitch into the next two loops. So we're ready to just get started. So from here, we're going to prepare for a double, go into that first back loop with two back loop double crochets. And then once we have that, we're going to be going down with one back loop double crochet, leaving the last two loops. We're going to do a decrease of two back loop doubles into there. So we've just made our way all the way down, leaving the last two back loops, and we're going to do a decrease of two back loop doubles together. So we're going to prepare, go into that second to last loop, yarn over, pull through, go into that last loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, and pull through two. Once when we have that, we're going to do our chain up of one, flip our work, and then into this next row, we're just gonna do our first decrease of two back loop slip stitches together. So go ahead and go into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, we're just gonna automatically yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. And from here, put one back loop slip into every loop going all the way down until we hit the base, and then continue doing this until we don't have any more loops left to go into, and then I'll meet you guys back. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with this little decrease portion right here. And now we have just a little bit more to go until we decrease all the way. So what we're gonna do from here is just do a decrease into both ends of each of our double crochet and slip stitch rows. So we're just gonna get both of the rows started and then I'll let you guys keep going until it comes up to a point. So what we're gonna do from here, since we're into this last loop, it doesn't matter if you guys ended on your double crochet or your slip stitch row, you guys are just going to continue doing whatever row you guys have in your sequence. We're just gonna decrease into the first and last two. So since I have a double crochet row, I'm gonna start off by doing a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. And then from here, I'm going to prepare for a double crochet, go into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, back loop after that, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then from here, just put one back loop double or back loop slip, whatever you guys are working into, all the way down until you guys have just two loops left. So we've just made our way down to the last two back loops we have into this row. So together we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, insert into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. Once when I have that, I'm gonna be doing my next row, which is a back loop slip. So I'm going to do a chain up of one and flip. And we're gonna be doing decrease into each of the edges. So go ahead and insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, into the back loop after that, yarn over, pull through everything, and do a back loop slip until we have just two loops left into this row. We've made it and we have just these two loops left, so we're going to insert, pull through, insert, and pull through everything. And we're just gonna keep going back and forth like that until it comes to a complete point. And then I'll meet you guys back just so we can get the other side started with each other. So we're back and we have just finished going all the way up with one side of our bralette and we're just going to finish off by starting off this other side together, but it's all gonna be pretty much the same thing. We just wanna all make sure that when we're going into the right side, everything is faced right side out and we're going to insert our hook right where the stitch marker is. We're not gonna insert our hook into the base because like I've said before, the ribbing isn't reversible. So we just wanna make sure that we're going the same way that we would have been coming if we didn't cut and tie our work. So I'm gonna take out this stitch marker insert my hook into that back loop, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through and do a chain up of one, two, three. That counts as a double crochet. And everything else is still going to remain the same. We're gonna go in with a decrease of two back loop doubles, do back loop doubles going all the way down while maintaining the increase of two into the last stitch that we have right here. And then keep going back and forth like that while decreasing into the outside loops with our back loop slip stitches until we don't have any more of our cable left to go into. And then from there, just do decreases on both sides of every row that we have until we come up to a point. I'll meet you guys back once we have both of these sides finished up. 
All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with the other side of the peak of our bralette and we are almost done. The only thing that we have to do is just go in with a strap and then we just need to clean up all of our edges and then we can call it a day. But once when we have this done, we can try this on and then measure from where the peak of this is going up and over our shoulder and then down to where we have the bottom band. Go ahead and take that measurement and write it down and then also figure out where you guys want your strap to be as well. So the length of my strap is going to be a total of 45 chains and that comes out to 14 inches or 35 centimeters. And then the place where I inserted my stitch marker where I'm going to be inserting my chain is the 25th loop from the base of our peak right here. And then I just did the same thing on the other side if you guys want to go ahead and do that right now. But once we have that done up, we can actually start to go in with our chain. So we can insert our hook in through this peak loop that we have right here, insert our yarn onto our hook and then make a chain of whatever measurement you guys have. We've just made it back with our chain and next we're gonna slip stitch it into this loop that we currently have our stitch marker into. So I'm just gonna take this guy out and insert my hook into that loop. From here, I'm going to yarn over and pull through everything that's on my hook. And then from here, we're just gonna go in with a row of single crochet along the bottom band along the side of our cup and then up and over with our chain just to clean up everything. And that's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna go in with one single crochet into every loop and then two single crochets into each of these side double crochets. So just to get this started off with each other, we're going to do a chain up of one. And from here, go ahead and put one single crochet into every loop that we have until we get to this side right here and then I'll meet you guys back. So we have gone in with our single crochet row and now we're about to work into the side of our cup that we have right here. So like I said earlier, we're just gonna be putting two single crochets into each of these side double crochets right here. So just to get this started off with each other into this first side double crochet, we're gonna go in with one single, two single. Next side double, here's one single, two single. And keep doing this going all the way up once we make our way all the way to the top we should be at our chain once we reach our chain just put one single crochet into every chain that we have going all the way down and then do a chain up of one and cut into that chain up of one that we originally left ourselves all right so we have just made our way all the way around with our single crochet along one strap that we did together go ahead and do the same exact thing that we did to the other side and then once when we have this then we can finish off with cleaning up the middle portion so what we're going to do is flip our work over and then insert our hook into any one of these middle loops. It doesn't matter which one. We're going to insert our hook into there, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one. And from here, just single crochet going all the way down. Once we hit our chain, go into the chain with more single crochets, going all the way around and back up our chain on the other side. And then once we've made it back to this original chain up of one that we just did, do a slip stitch into there, chain up of one, and then I'll meet you guys back. So we are back. We have just finished up going in with our single crochet row, and this is our piece. We're pretty much all done. The last thing that we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. This is our cable stitch bralette all finished. I'm pleasantly surprised with how fast of a workup this was and I may be able to make some for myself so I'm very excited for this project. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you have any pets and some fun facts about them. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it really, really helps and be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thanks so, so much for watching guys and I'll see y'all in the next one.